thank God for something you have never thanked God for. When I, when I finished the second service here today, they were driving me home to the third service. And I was suddenly, I, just, I was looking at the church and suddenly between, you know, a short distance looking at the gate, I went into deep sleep and I woke up. I told Dickin, I said, what a mighty God we serve. I said of, of the creature, the creature of the spiritual beings here. He had, he had given to man to sleep and everything he created on earth. But angels do not sleep. They don't feel tired. <laughs> I said, look at what a man we are. When he blows his breath upon us, we are gone. We don't know what is happening again. And when our body needs to, the clock needs to reset, he makes us sleep. Because the period we are sleeping, the whole of the organs will reset back themselves. You wake up in a new strength and to work. Those things we take for granted sometimes. The Bible says he gives his beloved sleep. And the book of Psalm 4, it says, I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, O Lord, maketh me dwell in safety. I want you to thank God for the grace of sleeping. Lift up your voice and let's pray together. You can imagine if we don't sleep in this world, we will have died. It is a grace. Some people are looking for sleep, they can't find it. They lie down on their bed, rolling on the bed, days unending. They have to be given medication to sleep. May God have blessed us with sleep. We sleep at will. The Bible says he gives his beloved sleep. Oh, Lord, our King, we bless you. We give you the praise and honor and glory. Our God who satisfies our heart with good things. 
Thank God for the air you breathe. Thank God for the air you breathe. Thank God for the health he has given you. Our God and our King, we worship you. Father, we bless you. Father, we bless you. Father, we bless you. Thank God for the provision for life. You are not homeless. It is God who put a roof on your head. Thank God for the provision to eat. Thank God for the liberty he has given you. The freedom. Thank God for the health he has given you. Even if you are sick in your body, it's not the whole of your system that is sick. It's only one part. Thank God for the healing of several sicknesses in your life. You have passed through it. Our God and King. Oh, that men will praise the Lord for the wonderful works of God to the children of men. He has broken the gates of brass and tore the bars of iron asunder. Thank God for every battle you have gone through in your life. Consider them one after the other. Thank God for the days of battle. Thank God for the days of prayer. The Bible says, blessed be the God my rock. He trains my hands for war. So thank God for war. Thank God for war. Because God uses it to train our hands. He trains my hand for war and my fingers for battle. Thank God for the good ideas God gives you and the ability to fulfill those ideas. Praise the name of the Lord for his mercy. Praise the name of the Lord for his glory, for his power, majesty. Our God and King, we salute you. The champion of heaven, God of everything. He said, the snare is broken. The snare is broken. The snare is broken. This is the 22nd day. After three sevens, Lord, we bless you. You broke the snare. You broke the snare. You broke the chain. You set the captives free. You broke the snare. You broke the chain. You set the captives free. You broke the snare. You broke the chain. You set the captives free. Lord, we bless you. Oh, Lord, if you are married, thank God for your husband. Or thank God for your wife. If you have children, thank God for your children. If you have parents, thank God for your parents. Thank God who mapped you to be born in the family you are born. Thank God who brought you together into the family that you are making. If it was not the Lord who had been for us, I thank you, God, for the birds that sing in the day. I thank you for the beautiful morning, for the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. Your, Lord, your name, O oh Lord, is to be praised. Thank you for the strength you give to us. We do many things at a time, but you strengthen our body. You did not allow us to break down. Day after day, we come to pray. O oh Lord, it is your mercy. It is your mercy. It is your mercy. It is your mercy. You said unto Moses, I am the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. I will have mercy on who I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on who I will have compassion. Hey, the Lord Almighty. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Oh, Lord, we give you the praise. We give you the praise and honor and glory. Father, we thank you. We exalt you. In Jesus' holy name, we have prayed. You know, we have 
When, when you pray a long prayer, you're going from one height to the other. That's how the Holy Spirit deals with it. If you, if you carefully follow the, the way the prayers are going, even when you cluster and you pray among yourself, you will discover that it is a rhythm. Everybody who opens his mouth will sing that rhythm. Now, the place where we are now is the place of speaking and making it happen. All right? We have prayed. We have pleaded. Now we speak. We command. We decree. Now, in the book of Psalm 2, verse 8, it says, Ask, I will give you nations. I will give you the nation for your inheritance and the ends of the earth. Or your possession. You are going to pray. You know what God is saying here? When you want to ask your jurisdiction, nations, all of you are doing business. I congratulate you. I told you last week, I don't think I spoke to uh, Cathedral in there. I think I explained, I, I said it in the week praying. God told me, every idea that he had given to you, run with it. And I said, if you have an idea to set them up, just go and face it. What devil does is that God will give you an idea. You will not see it. It looks brilliant. You will not develop it. You will soon dump it. After a while again, God will give you another idea. You will not see it. You won't develop it. You should dump it. People who made significant difference on earth are the people who strike the idea at the time of revelation. Because what God gave you, ha have a season. If you don't act on it, God will give another person somewhere who will act on it. And you can discover sometimes that your idea, now somebody else has already manifested it. Oh, I thought about it. Okay. So we're going to begin praying in that realm. Ask God for nations. Ask him to the ends of the earth. That is wherever the blessing God has given you is. Whether it's in China, whether it's in Saudi Arabia, begin to call those blessings to be made manifest. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Ask God for nations. Give me nations, oh God. Ask, I will give you nations for inheritance. Lord. Tell the Lord, spread my brain beyond local government, beyond borough, nation, 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 nation. Give me nations, oh Lord. Let me be a national blessing. I call my portion from the ends of the earth to come. I call my inheritance from the ends of the earth to come. Father, we pray thee, we pray thee, we pray thee. Let my voice be heard in nations. Let my work be seen in nations. Let the doors of nations be open to me. My inheritance, I call them to be. My help, I call them to manifest. 
my inheritance from Asia, my inheritance from Latin America, my inheritance from Africa, from the Caribbean, from North America. I call them to manifestation. Let my inheritance come, O oh Lord. Let my inheritance come, O oh Lord. Yea, Father God. Call your inheritance to manifestation. For my family, for my church, parendo si paragedesia. Isaiah chapter 16, verse 11. Your gate will always stand open. They will never be shut. Day and night. So that men may bring into you wealth of nation. Begin to pray for open doors, opportunities. Lord, my gates shall stand open. Every day, the gate of Christ with Abanaku will stand open. So that men may bring wealth into this house. So that men may bring inheritance into this house. They are king led in triumphal possession. Father, I declare, my gates shall stand open. Day and night. My gates shall stand open. Day and night. Father, Lord, we pray. In verse 10, it says, For now we will rebuild your wall. Their king will serve you. Begin to declare, Lord, send my foreigners to rebuild my war. I call my kings to come into my service. The kings of the nation will serve me. Foreigners will rebuild my war. The king of the nation will serve me. Reto Sopata. Verse 12 says, For the nation or kingdom that will not serve you will perish. They will be utterly ruined. Begin to declare every opposition before me shall be ruined. I move in the power of the Most High. Every opposition before me, they shall be ruined in this season. For my gate must stand open day and night. Their kings must serve me. Mashakatabura this. Oh Lord. Father, we bless you. In Jesus' anointed name, we are praying. Isaiah 45, verse 1. It says, Thus says the Lord to Christ with tabernacle is anointed, whose right hand I have taken hold of to subdue nations. It seems as if God is nation minded tonight. Those who rule nations are human beings like you. If they are not born again, they do not have the right. You are the one born to rule. They were not. Hallelujah, somebody. The time has come that the order of things must change. It says, there's an evil that I have seen under heaven. It says, princes are walking barefooted, and their slaves are on their horseback. It will not be another again. Father, go before me. Lift up my right hand to subdue nations, to strip kings of their armor. To open doors before me. That you pray, let double doors be open before me. Tomorrow morning, I, I wake up to open doors. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Go before me, O oh God. Go before Christ with Tabernacle. Go before Christ with Tabernacle. Pandalebo Shataha. Subdue nation before us. In every nation that we are, subdue those nations. Subdue UK. Subdue this nation before us. Subdue Germany before us. Subdue Ireland before us. 
Subdue India before us. Subdue Nigeria before us. Subdue Republic of Benin. Make a year to Sabuhaya. Go before us tomorrow, Lord. Subdue nations. Subdue nations. Subdue nations. Subdue Asia. Subdue Africa. Before us, oh God, let nations be subdued. Let nations be subdued. Sweep kings of their armor. Tell the Lord, sweep kings of their armor. Give me passage to enter every nation. Let kings be stripped of their armor before me. Yea, Father, open double doors before me. Doors will not be shut against me. Pray, no more will I miss opportunities. Every opportunity God opened, never again will the devil be able to shut it. He says, I'm the God of open door. The door I open, no man will shut. The door I open, no man will shut. He says, I will go before you and open up with us. I will level the mountains. Begin to command every mountain, every obstacle that is before me, I command them to be reduced to nothing. I will level the mountains. Level the mountain before me. Yeah, Lord, no more obstacle before me. No more hindrance before me. No more delay. Come, Mobalonda say. No more obstacle before me. No more delay. Level the mountain, Lord. 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 Let there be a clear path. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. This is Christ for Tabernacle. Hear us from heaven, Father. Hear us from heaven, Father. Level the mountain before this house. Level the mountain before Christ with Tabernacle. Level the mountain, oh God. Level the mountain, oh God. Level the mountain, oh God. Begin the decree. Break down the gates of bronze. Cut through the bars of iron. Break down the gates of bronze. Cut through the bars of iron. We command captives to be set free. Captives to be set free. Yeah, Lord Jesus. It says I will give you the treasures of darkness. Begin to command treasures of darkness, Lord. Let it be flo let it flood this house. Blessing, 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 blessing. Lord, release your blessing upon CFT. Treasures of darkness, the riches stored in secret places. Treasures of darkness, the riches stored in secret places. Treasures of darkness, come into CFT. Father, manifest them. Lord, manifest them. Lord manifest them, Lord manifest them, Lord manifest them, the treasures of darkness, the riches of the secret places. Oh Lord. Lord, we bless you. In Jesus' anointed name, we are praying. We serve a God who answers prayer. The door, the key to the door of heaven is prayer. If you have it, 
you can enter there. I was praying. The Lord showed me somebody here. He is saying, Apostle warned me. Apostle warned me. So you have gotten into something that I have warned you not to get into. And you will now suffer consequences. The Lord said, I will put a smile in his face. Listen to me. A son of God must not sleep in guilt. Remember what he said to us in the morning? He said, return to me. I want to be your father. And I will be your father again. Hallelujah, somebody. God knows that we human beings take decisions sometimes. Well, those of us who are parents will agree with me. That when you are raising children, when they are small, sit down, sit down. Eat, eat. After some time, they'll be asking why. Isn't it? And you'll be looking at the child. I was not with you. you. You have started, son of man. You have started also. And after some time, I say that, look, let me just do it this way. They say, no, no, I want to do it this way. And then after they did it, they got to trouble. Uh, you know, uh, okay, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, daddy. Oh, I'm sorry, mommy. Uh, I will do that what he said. It is a symptom of man. So if you have done it your way, tonight God restores you. <laughs> Don't live in guilt. It is celebration time. There is no guilt in CFT. We have entered the last phase. Look at what God said to me to tell you. No longer will you build houses and others live in them. No longer will you plant garden and others shall eat it. For as the days of a tree shall be, so your days shall be. Isaiah 65 verse 22. We're going to decree, Father, we come against untimely death. Those who sow here, they reap here. We come again, deception of the devil that remove people from the commonwealth of blessing. For a person to walk and serve in a house and a, a, the night before God's visitation, the person just says, I'm going. And he goes. And the following day, God visits. And then they now stand from far. Ah, that was my church. That will not be your story. <laughs> Where you labor, you will not quit the night before your blessing will come. <laughs> We're going to pray. According to your word, no longer will I build houses and others will live in them. No longer will I plant our labor and others will inherit it. No longer will I suffer and I will, have, I will not be there to enjoy it. Every, every attempt from hell to take life suddenly, to frustrate sweat and labor in this house, we will destroy it in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. He says, because you acknowledge me, says the Lord, with long life will I satisfy you. No longer will we build houses and others will live in it. No longer will we labor and others will take the, the labor from us. Father, it is your promise. Are the days of the trees, so our life shall be. No longer will we see but a person who is young and die. We will live to a good old age. Seeing and saying the Lord is God and the Lord is good. Proclaiming the Lord from generation to generation. We abrogate untimely death. The Bible said none will cast their young in my land. None will cast their young. You will live your full lifespan. Every attempt to go from hell to kill. Any member of this house. Any attempt of the devil to kill, in the name of Jesus, we nullify. By the blood of Jesus, we defeat it. He said they will not toil in vain. Verse 23. They will not be our children doomed to misfortune. Pray it. Father, we will not labor in vain. Jesus will not labor in vain. Fulfill this word in my life. Fulfill this word in my house. Fulfill this word in my family, my church. Nobody who belongs to this house will labor in vain. Nobody who belongs to this house will labor in vain. We will not labor for another to inherit. 
We will not quit a night before our visitation. Oh, Lord. We will not quit a day before our visitation. We will not be our children doomed for misfortune. Misfortune will not come near us. It will not come near our children. It says, for there will be a people blessed by the Lord. They and their descendants with them. Let's begin to frustrate. Every evil spirit sent against our children to frustrate them. We frustrate those evil spirits in the name of Jesus Christ. Every attempt of Satan to shipwreck children of Christ with tabernacle, we destroy in the name of Jesus from the root of God. Release your angels from heaven. Attack every demon of hell sent against the children of CFT. We sabotage all their moves. They will have no power over our mind. Evil spirit will not be able to influence our children. If there is anyone already under their influence, we break it in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says God warned kings concerning them, saying, touch not God's anointed and make God's prophet no harm. Every spirit that have touched us or touched our children, we banish them to hell. We cast them to hell. We cast them to hell. We break the chain over anyone that is bound in this house. We lose them. It says, they will be called people blessed of the Lord, by the Lord. They and their descendants, they and their children, Begin to pray for your unborn children. They will be called blessed by the Lord. My descendants shall be blessed by the Lord. My descendants shall be blessed of the Lord. My descendants shall be blessed in the Lord. Marebo shapakate. Blendole lende sebra bumbasha. He said, before they call, I will answer. Why yet they are speaking, I will hear. Before they call, I will answer. Begin to tell the Lord, answer my cry. Answer our cry for the past 22 days. Answer our cry for the past 22 days. Lord, we have cried unto you. Answer us, O God. Answer us, O God. Answer us, O God. Answer us, O God. Let this week be the week of answer. Let this week be the week of answer. Let it be the week of answer. In the midst of Christ the Tabernacle, answer, Lord. Answer, Lord. Joel 2. Says in verse 17, the Lord will reply, the Lord will reply, and the Lord will reply, and the Lord will reply, and the Lord will reply. For my labor, he will reply. For my seeking, he will reply. For my prayer, he will reply. Oh, Lord, he will reply me with mercy. Lord, he will reply me with glory. You will reply me with power. You will reply me with manifestation. This week shall be a week of blessing. It shall be a week of happiness. It shall be a week of joy for me. For you said, I will answer them. I will answer them. They will call upon me, and I will answer them. They will call me their father, and I will call them my son. Father, open the book of remembrance. Remember, oh God. Remember, oh God. Why they pray? Why they are crying? I will answer. Before they ask me, I will do. Lord, move swiftly over CFT. Answer our cry. Answer our cry. Move decisively over the CFT, Lord. Yeah, Father. Whatever cry any member of this house has been crying in the secret, let's tell God, answer us publicly. Answer us publicly. We are going to the last few days. In eight days' time, this prayer will be over. Answer us publicly, Lord. Answer us publicly, Lord. Answer us publicly, Lord. Answer us publicly, Lord. Us publicly, Lord. Our God and King, answer us publicly. Every prayer we are praying in the secret, answer us publicly.
Father, Father, Exodus 15, verse 3. He said, The Lord is a mighty warrior, the Lord is his name. Begin to tell the Lord, Contend with those who contend with me, fight my cause and battle. Fight on behalf of me, Lord, in this week. It is the week of my answer. Fight the battle for me, Lord. Fight the battle for me, Lord. Fight the battle for me, Lord. Your right hand, O God, is majestic in power. Your right hand destroyed the enemies. He shattered the enemy. Lord, fight my battle for me. Fight the battle of Christ with the Banaku. With your right hand, shatter the enemy. Who is like unto thee, O God? Who is like unto you? Among the gods, who is like you? Majestic in holiness, awesome in glory, working wonders, working wonders, working wonders, working wonders. Let us tell the Lord, part the way before every member of this house in this week. Guide us by your Holy Spirit into your perfect plan for us. We shall sing the song of Moses every day. We shall sing the song of Moses every day. Jehovah is your name. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' anointed name we have prayed. Let me help you see something. You will sing the song of Moses this week. God is working in my head. He's working in my head. You know, when it's like when you press the, a computer. Memory call, memory call, memory call. <laughs> you will not escape this week. Or maybe let me rephrase it. That this week will not escape you. God had determined, heaven had declared, by force you will be blessed. He says, did I say to Jacob, seek me in vain? He said, who among you can tell me that you will wake up tomorrow morning into the blessing I've prepared? You do not know it. He said, you seek me. I have had, I said the blessing before you, you just walk into it. You know what? When the disciples were praying for the Holy Spirit, they prayed daily. But the day the Holy Spirit came, they were sitting down calmly. <laughs> they weren't praying. No, they have just had a recess. The Bible says when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all together in one place, calmly, quietly, peacefully, and the Holy Spirit came. He intervened. He just, he, just, he just invaded the place. God will invade your life. In this week, in this week, you will live to tell the stories. Let me read this to you. The Bible says, sit down. Quiet, sit down. 